Hello, Asia students. Welcome to Asia's in Minutes, where I review topics that are covered in class in only minutes. As always, if you haven't completed the assigned readings, please pause the video and complete the readings and then return. The topic of today's lesson is rational ignorance. So what is rational ignorance? Now, rational ignorance, according to economists, is essentially not taking the time and effort to gather knowledge and information or educating yourself because the cost of getting all that information is actually going to exceed the benefit of actually having the information. Take, for example, Joe. Joe's going to go buy a car. He's going to research all the makes and the models. He's going to compare the prices. He might talk to people. He might go on the internet. He's going to think about it for a while, and then he's going to make a decision. And his research and his, his interviews and, and his looking at reviews and, and going in and comparably shopping at different dealerships, that takes time. And that's going to take energy. But he does it because he knows he's going to receive the entire benefit and the entire cost of his decision. Mike, or maybe even perhaps Joe, is also thinking about voting in November. And we're going to assume he's not going to just vote across party lines, which actually might have something to do with this topic. He might look at the different candidates, but is he thoroughly researching each of the candidates? Does he research each and every one of the single issues? Does he look at the costs and benefits of all the policies? And after, he's, after the election is concluded, is he gonna follow this elected official? Now, in some cases, perhaps he will, but most people don't. And the question is, why? According to public choice theorists, it doesn't make sense to do all this research on a candidate if you're only going to get one vote. The cost of acquiring the information is much greater than the benefit. Now, I'm not saying this is not a, 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 an excuse not to be informed, but economists would say it's an explanation as to why, in general, the public may be misinformed, but the concentrated special interest groups that do get the benefits of the policy will absolutely be informed. Thank you very much. Until next time.